morning everybody. It's April 14th. It is. Yep, one more day to get your taxes done. But by the time you see this, I hope you don't file for an extension. Um, oh, great day yesterday. The ending of that day was tough. Let me tell you. Yeah, that climb. It was. I'll try to figure out how long it was, but it was relentless. Two miles, Two miles straight up. But we're moving on today. Trying to make some possible contingency plans, change of plans, thoughts, I don't know. Because the weather. Today looks good. Tomorrow and the next day. Yes. We are talking snow showers. Mixed with rain. Mixed with rain. Worst can a scenario for us is that snow, good. You can deal with it. Cold, deal with it. Rain, deal with it. But this is looking in and out of snow showers. And tomorrow, thunder and lightning storms. So we're not, thankfully we're not up into real high elevations, a little lower. So we'll see. We're going by Watuga Lake and Watuga Dam today. I think if you look way off at the distance, way out there, that's Watuga Dam, I believe. And that's Watuga Lake and the waterfront. And the lake goes up there. We were so used to looking at the morning fogs, you know, down in the valleys, that we didn't even realize that that's a lake down there. Let's see here. There you go. Cool. Okay, so we're coming into Watuga. We just uh, went in and grabbed a cup of coffee and that uh, caught up with some folks that we've been hiking with and catching up with here uh, at Boots Off Hostel. And it is a killer leaving there because that that looks like a complete home run. But we have to make some miles. So, anybody hiking? That's a place to schedule in for your, uh, for a stop. So, but it's a beautiful day. It's supposed to be a beautiful day all day. And then turn in lousy tonight at eight. So we just made arrangements with them to maybe bail us out tomorrow after we do only like a short day of seven or eight miles in the cold rain, so. Hate to do it, but see what we do tomorrow. Sometimes the weather is better, sometimes it's worse than they call for. Yeah, we're on the shores of Watuga. I assume this is Watuga Lake. And the trail goes up. I think we're gonna be walking around it. So if I got this right, we came from over there somewhere and went up on that hill, came around and down. And uh, those guys in that bass boat have been torturing me. Between them and the guys in the pontoon boat, all I can think of is, what a great day to go fishing. Okay, yesterday we looked down and we could see that. Not yesterday, sorry, this morning. Everything's blending together. And I couldn't make out what that thing was sticking in front of the dam. And now that I'm here, I'm not sure what it is still. It looks like a crane of some sort. This is the road up to the dam. So now we're crossing Watuga Dam. See if I can, I cannot even begin to give you the scope how deep this is over here. Um, 
except by the groans that Grandma Shorty. Uh, this is another TBA project, Tennessee Valley Authority project, dam. And it goes way, way, I, I mean, way out there. Maybe you can make that road out down there. And then comes up here. And, uh, and then over here, on this side, is the dam. All we know is that the breeze here is amazing. So, look around behind me. There's Grandma Shorty. Good morning. There's the road. There's the water. There's the cliffs. The breeze is amazing, and it's hard to believe that we're trying to beat snow. Yep, snow. Snow. Snow and rain on snow Monday. Snow and rain. Nuts. But, be happy for the day you have. We just left Van de Venter Shelter where we uh, just had a just quick drink of water and uh, we decided we're going to try to push out what grandma four or five miles four more miles tonight it's not that we have the gas in the tank trust me but uh, it's been a long uphill and what we are learning is water is increasingly we have to be careful we did get to a spring after a lot of miles nursing about a half a liter of water um, to find that it was a good spring, but it was not much more than a, like if you took your kitchen faucet and turned it about a third of what a normal flow would be. But it was good. So we filled up, we have water, and this will put us uh, about 10 miles away from tomorrow. Um, the weather's supposed to be lousy turning out tonight. So we'd like to get ahead of the thunder and lightning storms and get get someplace where if things go south that uh, we can get out. Um, we're having some equipment breakdowns and one is our shoes. My shoes have split open along the sole of my left shoe and I keep getting grit in it and dirt. Same with the <laughs> grandmas are uh, held together with a, a dream right now. So we tried to push them maybe a little bit too far, and we do know that we got shoes waiting for us on a mail drop in Damascus. So what we're going to do is a little complicated. We're going to get off the about 21 miles south of Damascus. We're going to get a shuttle into Damascus, get our mail drop, and then hopefully avoid the snow and rain that's coming by doing that, and then get a shuttle back to where we came off the trail, and then 21 back into Damascus. It doesn't make a lot of sense unless you had shoes that were falling apart and you didn't really want to hike in the snow. <laughs> so then it makes almost sense. But it does will, will put us into a, a 20, 21 mile day, which would be a, a beast. But it's a lot easier doing a 21 mile day when we know where we're going. And in this case, we'd be going back to Damascus. That probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but we'll clarify it as we well. Okay. Let's get going. taxes done unless you got an extension look at that I hope this is coming out let me see if I can give a reference out that direction is that Lake Watuga we walked around that all day so we had beautiful views all day 
long hot climb at the end of the day but it was beautiful views and we had a breeze every once in a while I don't know what that's a town down there you might be seeing the lights let's see let's see well trust me there's a lot of lights out there and then that's the sunrise we got up early it was supposed to be thunder and lightning this morning and we're coming up over this hill wanted to get up over it early before it started crazy as it is tomorrow snow next day 50s and 60s with sun crazy Hi, good morning. Hope we didn't interrupt your breakfast. We're just hiking here. Yeah? What's your trail name? You really don't care, do you? Well, we have places to go, people to see. Nice hanging out with you for a while. Okay, say hi to the family. Want something to eat? <laughs> oh, there's the other one. What do you do? You hear breakfast too? Yeah. <laughs> Ran 25 feet and ate some more. Anybody else around? All right, gotta go. Hey there, we've been lucky. It's 8.30 and we just passed Iron Mountain Shelter. So we got about three, three and a half, three fifteen to get to uh, uh, three hours as three and a half hours maybe to get down to the road. So we're doing really well. The trail has been really good. Uh, we looked at all the different weather forecasts. Not one of them say nice day tomorrow. But the day after, looks good. So we'll go in and see if this plan works. How you doing back there? Lucky we're dry. I mean, we've, we've had a couple little spits of showers, but they're calling for one to two inches of rain, heavy downpours, thunder and lightning. 37 tonight and then snow in the morning. Yeah, 37, a drop from like right now is probably what, in the 50s? Yep. And down to 37 and then drop down to freezing with snow overnight. Snow all day tomorrow. Snow and rain. And rain. So, we're good. Love it when a plan changes and comes together. But, not much to see. So you get to look at our lovely faces. Oh, look up. Yeah, I see. Uh, all righty, I'll show you the little trail. It's been beautiful. So this is the trail. Not typical of what we have been experiencing for the first 400 something miles of our hike. This is the exception, but for the last few hours, we hear rumors that the trail is smoother and flatter, faster. We hear stories of you can just walk along the trail and you don't have to carry food because every so often you, you're going to come to a road 
and there's going to be a place to buy hamburgers and hot dogs and and blackberry shakes yes we do yes we do we hear more rumors it's all downhill after Clingman's Dome. Yeah. The next next part of the trail is easy and flat. Right after that, you get kicked in the teeth. So we stopped listening to trail rumors. Not sure if you can tell, but uh, <laughs> yeah. It's raining. It's uh, we're up on this ridge here. Hold on a minute. Yeah, I gotta watch these things here. It's windy. Hold on, I'm gonna switch it around. Yeah, we just came out of those. When you get up into these ridge lines, open ridges, the the wind and rain are just pouring horizontal across. So, um, but the the trail has been very reasonable. So, it's raining. And it's windy, and we're moving, hopefully forward. So about 20 minutes after we got into Damascus, that's what we got. Would you rather be hiking? Not right now. Not right now. Yeah. So when you look up in those hills, you realize, well, maybe not that one exactly, but probably those. They keep up there, <laughs> pushing along in this. Wow, did we miss it in the nick of time. everybody Good morning. hey it's April 16th um, happy Boston Marathon happy marathon day we actually just watched the start of the Boston Marathon the we, we FaceTimed home with the kids and they put the FaceTime onto the TV so we watched it but we want we came off trail yesterday because of the rains and the flood risks and uh, I'm I'm gonna to try to shoot this. Actually, what we're on right here, you can see it behind us, is another trail that goes through Damascus, and it's called the Creeper Trail. It's a converted railroad bed into a multi-use trail. But uh, it runs right adjacent to the river here, and when we came by, that was a normal-looking river. All night, my phone was blowing up with these uh, flood, flash flood alerts. And you can see why. You can see the amount of rain we got. So I'm going to try to get some footage of this. So that shows you, hopefully, like around those trees, it's flooding up into there. How fast so we're going to go back on trail tomorrow. And uh, we're kind of prepared to hit high water and mud areas. Um, but that's a crazy amount of rain that came down. If you're a NASCAR fan, they canceled Bristol. Yesterday, you're gonna to try to run it this afternoon, starting at one. So for our zero day, yesterday, actually, we were lucky. We got in early. And for our zero day, we have to walk downtown, which is a mile or so. We're gonna take a creeper trail. It'll be like a shortcut into Damascus, get some resupply we got to get some arrangements made. So zero days usually involve a lot of walking, <laughs> which is exactly what you want to do 
when you're taking a day to do zero walking. <laughs> they got to come up with a better name. I guess it's zero trail miles. It should be, it should be no hike day. No hike day. But it's certainly not here. Yeah, look at this. Ah. Look at that. It's coming up within, you know, close to the crazy. Yeah, it's all flooded out in there. I mean, thankfully, a lot of the places we've been hiking have been high. But every time you get in those low gap areas. So anyway, we'll talk to you later. Okay, one thing Damascus is famous for is Damascus Trail Days that are in May. I think it's like the 18th. And this whole town gets absolutely filled, thousands and thousands of hikers. And some people come off the trail for three days here. It's kind of a uh, hiker Woodstock. Yep, all past hikers come back. You know, past hikers from years and years come back. And uh, they have a parade that comes down here through the center of Damascus. And they, they hike by years that you completed the trail, um, including the class of 2018. We're, at this point, open, but leaning towards not coming back. Um, this year and maybe come back next year instead after we completed have actually completed the trail. The trail. But to come off and drive back a day, hang out a day, and go back a day. So it's still up in the air, but um, we're not sure that that's something we're going to be able to do. But this is the town, Damascus, and I've seen it so many times on YouTube. I know like the fire department over here, they have like breakfast people, there's different organizations, churches that have everything. They, they, they massage your feet stations, they have hair cutting stations, they have breakfast and barbecue. Gear repair stations. Uh, yeah, gear vendors, gear re, uh, repair. It's crazy. So, not saying we're not. One thing we've learned about the trail is just leave all options open. Because <laughs> every plan you make get superseded by reality. There's the Brothers in Red right there, Damascus Fire. And uh, so, just thought we'd give a trail shout out to Trail Town, USA. So we're walking over to get supper and it's still snowing, it's not accumulating down here. Um, I'm not sure if we can see this at all. Doubt it. Ah, there, you got the Andrew. <laughs> Look at my ice there you go. too. Though. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's snowing. It's not accumulating here, but the uh, little bit, but the uh, altitude would. So, again, we'll be in a bed tonight. Woohoo!